Hello everyone and welcome to this series of working with the Hex Editor. So in this video we want to start talking about uh, offsets, but before I do that, <coughs> excuse me, before I do that, let's let me introduce one, probably try to draw something to make the idea understandable. Let's look at, let's say we have this and then we have inside it uh let's see this boxes okay so each one of these will be uh holding an item okay this is by the way an array where yeah, you can also if you know what an array is if you don't just think of them as a bunch of boxes each box will be holding an item okay each box will be holding an item. There is some one one uh, concept that I really need you to understand. Come on. I'm not gonna waste all the time on this. And then let's just divide this to two. And yep, that's that's good. So again these are look at these as boxes where you will be filling them with some items. Now in computers mostly the numbering starts with so when we number the boxes, when we number our first box, what happened? Okay. So let's do 20. When we number our first box, it will be numbered as, so the first box will be number zero. Our second box will be number one. Our third will be number two. And our fourth will be number three our fifth number four and so on and so forth so i'm just going to continue to numbering these so we can understand the whole idea now again in computers the boxes start the indexing with zero one two three four five six now that's the index okay of these boxes okay so that's the index of these boxes but when i go and put let's say an item into each box so if i put an item let's make it a different color if i put an item into this box what number is this item it's number one right because this is the first item so it's number one when i put another item this is number two third number three fourth number four number five number six number seven now you might say why are you doing this I'm doing this because you need to understand the difference between the index to which is kind of let's say uh, a pointer to this box so this index refers to this box this index refers to this box this index to this box and so on and so forth so whenever i say i need to go to index zero then i know that i'm referring to this box i need to go to index one then i need to go to this box two then this box and so on and so forth and actually let me do this just an example just so we have something a little bit different and let's do this and let's do this and let's do this so as you can see here now in each box we have a different item okay in each box we have a different item so when i want to go when i go to the index zero index zero is pointing to this box which has a red star in it when i go to index one index one is pointing to this box which has a red star in it two it has a blue star in it three pointing to this box which has another red star in it four this arrow pointing to the right five pointing to this box with an arrow pointing to the left and six and so on and so forth so you get the idea now now one thing again these are indexes or pointers to where this data is located so these are indexes okay while this is an item inside the box that this index is pointing to so if we count these one two three four five six seven we have seven items okay we have seven items but when we talk about indexing especially with computers the indexing usually starts with zero okay usually or let's say mostly will start with zero okay 
again, so if we count them, they are seven. If we go to indexes, because we start from zero, then it means we have n minus one. n, how much is n here? Is the count of the items we have, which is seven. So n minus one means we have up to six. So from zero to six. Okay, maybe you don't like that math. Again, these are indexes pointing to the items. Index pointing to item. Index pointing to an item. Counting the items, okay, is different than the index. The index is a pointer to that item. So when we say what's an in index one, we can say item number one. What's in index one? Sorry, what's in index zero? Item number one. What's in index one? Item number two. What's in index three? Item number three, and so on and so forth. So please keep that in mind. It's very important that you understand this concept. So now what? Let's go back here and you'll say, I what was all of that all of that about? Let's go here and start talking about offsets. So think of an offset as an index to where uh, an offset as an index to a location. Okay, think of an offset as an index to a location. When we start, as you saw here, we start where at zero. So the offsets, oh, I would say, always unless specified. Again, keep that between double brackets. The offset always, unless specified, it starts at index zero. So when you start the indexing, as you can see here, what's point? What is inside the con? So if you look at these as boxes, by the way, you look at consider each one of these as boxes. You can see that index zero is pointing to the value 48, which you can say 48 is like the star. This one. Okay, if we, I'm sorry. So you can say index zero is pointing to the, the star 48. Index one is pointing to the star 65. Index two is pointing to the star 6C and three is to star 6C and so on and so forth. Okay. The indexes will start at zero. The indexes will start at zero. So when I say I want to go to index number eight or to offset number eight, that's what we, you, you will mostly be using, by the way. Mostly you will be using the word offset. Okay. So when we talk about offsets and I say go to offset number eight, then all you need to do is start from zero, unless, again, unless specified, and then say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where did we arrive? We arrived at this location. If we read it, as you can see, we can see that we have the value 65. Now, if I tell you go from zero to offset four, so what you need to do is zero, one, two, three, and now you are at offset four, okay? So what's inside offset four? It's six F. And now, what, as you can see here, by the way, if we we keep this pointer or the cursor here. Look at what is what is it saying? It's saying you are at position four. Now, position four is again what? Uh, this is the the index, right? This is the index, or this is the offset. So we are at offset number four. Is if I tell you how many values from offset number four going backwards are available, you will definitely need to count them this way, and you'll say five. Okay, okay, again, let's go back and say, let's go to offset 16. So if we count 16, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you can see I know how to count. So that's good. Okay, and you can see now where is the cursor? The cursor is pointing here. Why? Because this is offset 16, right? 10, uh, 10 uh, hex in, uh, hexadecimal is actually what is uh, 10H is actually uh, 16. And we just counted them again from 0 to 9. That's 10. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So now we are at offset 16. If I say go to offset 32, what you need to do again if from the beginning, this is 16. And if we calculate another 16, this is 32. Now we are pointing at this location. If I tell you add another 16, so we are talking about 48, then this is what, this is 48. And as you can see, where is the cursor now? The cursor is over here. What's the position or what's the offset? The offset is 48. 
okay so i hope by now you know what an offset is again in computers we will start at zero unless specified and this is very 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 i know i don't know how many how many times i need to say this important that you understand what an offset is or a position as you can see here zero one zero uh, uh, calls it a position it's the same by the way as using the word offset okay it's telling you that we are now at position zero what's in position zero in position zero is our first item or our first value which is 48 what's in position one if i go here see position one it's our first it's our second sorry it's our second value right which is 65 over here or the red star in here and so on and so forth so please keep that in mind okay these positions are very important and in this video i just wanted to cover using the offsets from offset zero i know this video took more than five minutes which i was planning on not making a video more than five minutes but it was very important hopefully we'll go back to shorter videos and that's it for this one and see you in the next one bye bye